We can do background checks. We can do CDC research. We can make sure we don't have reciprocal carry among states. And we can make sure that those weapons of war that I carried in war is the only place where those weapons are at. Yeah! Yeah! Screw the Second Amendment! Yeah! Woo! Okay. I mean, it, it's obviously that's terrifying in of itself, him wanting to go uh-huh. after your guns. But did you catch what he said there? He said the weapons of war that I carried in war, right? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, no. No, that's not accurate. Right. Uh, you were in Italy. I don't know. How, when's the last time we fought Italy? Was he World War II. Oh, he might have been in World War II. Is yeah. that how old he is? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So that's obviously what he was referring to. When he landed in Sicily... And then moved up to Italy, and then... Uh, but you see, this is what Tim Walsh does. Mm. He tries to sow these little seeds in there mm-hmm. and say stuff like, I carried a weapon of war in right. war. Right. Except, no. Yeah. No, you didn't. And I don't want to disparage his military service, but don't claim you did things you didn't do. Even CNN questioned Walsh military claims. Waltz did make a comment, speaking to a group, he's done it a couple of times, Mm -hmm. where he has used language that has suggested that he carried weapons in a fighting situation. As you know, with your contact with the military, I know from coming from a military family, Mm -hmm. there is a difference between being in a combat area, being involved at a time of war, and actually being in a position where people are shooting at you. There is no evidence that at any time Governor Waltz was in a position of being shot at and some of his language could easily be seen to suggest that he was. So that mm. is absolutely false when he said that about about uh, gun rights out there. Wow. Wow. Thank you, CNN. <laughs> How about that? Mm-hmm. MSNBC even acknowledged Uh-oh. the controversy. I get the sense that the Harris campaign is ready for these attacks, but I have to tell you, Kristen, they're not engaging directly on whether or not he was falsifying his record, his military record. They are, of course, as you said, pointing out that he does have a history of service, both in the National Guard, but also as a teacher, as someone who was a governor, as someone who was a, a, con- a congressional member. So they're sort of leaning in on the fact that he's someone who wants to serve America. And, he, and yesterday when he was in Philadelphia, he was also making that point, saying that they want this to be a people powered campaign campaign and a people-centered administration if they are elected to the White House. But it's very interesting to see them say, yes, he does have a sort of a, a long history uh, in the military and joined at 17, um, has trained people who did go into co- combat zones, is what one source told me, but also is not engaging directly on whether or not he falsified here. Hmm. Mm. Hmm. Mm. And so uh, J.D. Vance discussed military service with reporters as well. I came from a family where nobody in my family had ever gone to law school. I was, I grew up in a poor family. The fact that Tim Waltz wants to turn it into a bad thing, that I actually worked myself through college, through law school, and made something myself, to me, that's the American dream. And if Tim Waltz wants to insult it, I think that's frankly pretty bizarre. Now, look, what Mm -hmm. I, what, what really bothers me about Tim Waltz, it's not even the positions that he's taken, though certainly he has been a far-left radical. You know what really bothers me about Tim Waltz as a Marine who served his country in uniform? When the United States Marine Corps, when the United States of America asked me to go to Iraq to serve my country, I did it. I did what they asked me to do it, and I did it honorably, and I'm very proud of that service. When Tim Waltz was asked by his country to go to Iraq, you know what he did? He dropped out of the Army and allowed his unit to Mm. go without him, a fact that he's been criticized for aggressively by a lot of the people that he served with. Mm. I think it's shameful to prepare your unit to go to Iraq, to make a promise that you're going to follow through, and then to drop out right before you actually have to go. Mm. I also think it's dishonest. Something, again, if you guys ever get an opportunity to ask Tim Waltz or Kamala Harris some questions, he made this interesting comment that the Kamala Harris campaign put out there, and I bet they're regretting they put it out there now, because he said that we, and he was making a point about gun control, he said we shouldn't allow weapons that I used in war war. to be on America's streets. He didn't use it in war. Well, I wonder, Tim Waltz, when were you ever in war? When was this, what was this weapon that you carried into war, (laughs) given that you abandoned your unit right before they went to Iraq, and he has not spent a day in a combat zone? What bothers me about Tim Waltz is Mm. the stolen valor garbage. Do not pretend to be something that you're not. And if he wants Mm -hmm. to criticize me for getting an Ivy League education, I'm proud of the fact that my mammal supported me, that I was able to make something of myself. I'd be ashamed if I was him and I lied about my military service like Mm -hmm. he did. Nice. I'm so glad they're calling him out on this. They sure are. 
This is it, they certainly do it. This is sticking. Yeah. Really is. And the guy who took, who replaced Walls yeah. for that deployment has actually come out yeah. and gave a statement yeah. in interviews. We're going to play that uh, coming up here. But this is what Tim Waltz said. And I've heard it pronounced Walls or Waltz, like a, like the dance. Which is correct? Do we know? Do we know? He's, Both. He's going to be dancing Both. when he's answering questions there about his military go. service. Yeah. And here he is in 2007 <laughs> doing just that. Listen to this. What's your background and how did somebody from Nebraska end up in Minnesota? Yeah, yeah well, my wife's from Minnesota, so she took me there. Actually, it was based on um, the educational system in Minnesota was, um, was one that we kind of aspired to teach in. So I ended up in southern Minnesota. My wife's been... Mm there for many generations. So. And your military background? I spent 24 years in the National Guard, some okay. of that full time. I was okay. an artilleryman. I deployed in support of Operation Enduring Freedom. My battalion provided um, he deployed base security throughout the European theater from Turkey to England um, mm -hmm. in the early stages of the war in Afghanistan. And that same battalion is now in Iraq at this time. That's interesting. But when you were there, <laughs> that's interesting. You were based. Uh, they said mm -hmm. from Turkey to England. Is that yeah, what you said? That's mm -hmm. what you said. Yeah. And he, I know for a fact, he was in Italy. Yes. Um, hmm. Which is hmm. different than was there. There was a lot of believe. action though going on in Italy, wasn't well, there? In, in um, the, oh yeah, planes in were the flying, 90s. bombs and, were dropping. And, and yeah. again, Pat and I, we're not disparaging anybody uh, uh, that uh, has served on any level whatsoever. No sir. Just don't lie about it. 